This is your breakdown of the five different types of shock. Starting off with septic shock. Think of sepsis. This is the infection that spreads to the bloodstream. It is a systemic response that can lead to organ failure if it's not treated properly. And then neurogenic shock. This one is all about the nervous system, especially the spinal cord. This occurs with injuries either at or above the T6 level. Remember that critical number, T6. And then hypovolemic shock. This one happens when the body is losing too much blood. It reduces that circulating blood volume. This one can result from trauma, gunshot wounds, surgeries, or burns. You have low volume and low circulation. And then cardiogenic shock, think cardio, heart. This one comes from the heart. So if the heart is failing to pump effectively, it's leading to that low blood flow to vital organs. It's commonly caused by severe heart failures or MIs, where the heart muscle is damaged. And then lastly, anaphylactic shock. This is an allergic reaction essentially gone wild. Think anaphylaxis, severe reactions to allergens like bee stings, peanuts, seafood. Immediate intervention is key with this one. So knowing these five different types of shock can help you quickly identify them and act fast. I want you guys to comment the word shock down below and I will send you a free study guide on the five different types of shock.